Rahim Assalamu Alaikum Sami Dachana Lecturer Zoology from Government Girls Degree College Moro Dear students in previous lecture we have discussed about vertebrates their spices and its classes now let us discuss about in other vertebrates from tetrapods till mammals and its classes now let's start from superclass tetrapoda today's lecture what tetrapoda it means four legs tetra means four poda means feet or legs these animals develop two pair of pentadictal limbs what do you mean by pentadictal penta means five dictal means digits it means two pairs of limbs or legs have a five fingers or digits present all animals have a four limbs therefore these are known as tetrapods classification of tetrapods in four groups amphibians reptilia elves or birds and mammals now let's start from amphibians about 2000 species of amphibians according to the first year syllabus present around the world in this figure the different example of amphibians showing like toad bullfrog frog spotted salamander newt they all are showing in this figure general characteristics of amphibia before going to the general characteristics of amphibia first describe the meaning of word amphibia it is a comprise of two words amphi means dual bia, bia means bearing it means they possess a dual or double life how they possess dual or double life because at the larval stage they are present in the water they are aquatic at the adult stage they become go towards the land therefore they are known as amphibians and study of amphibians with reptiles is known as reptology and separately discuss or study in rep amphibians that is known as branchology now the general characteristics of amphibia they do not possess exoskeleton therefore their skin is a net and soil soft and moist they respire by lungs at the adult stage on the land they are respire through skin and a lining of buccal cavity they lay eggs in water it means they are oviparous they become a partially aquatic and partially terrestrial therefore their name is indicated double mode of life they are piccolothumbs vertebrate what do you mean by piccolothumb means cold blooded animals they cannot maintain their body temperature they undergo in hibernation in a winter it means the winter sleep is known as hibernation let's move to class reptilia what reptilia means to crawl or creep about 5000 species of reptilia general characteristics of reptilia they have a dry skin covered by epidermal scales they are terrestrial it means they live on land some of reptiles live in water are semi aquatic like a crocodile alligator tor tortoise these are uh, aquatic or semi aquatic reptiles they are crawl on land with the help of two pairs of limbs which have five digits it means they are pentadictal such as a horny claws snakes have no limbs because their limbs are degraded reptiles are piccolothumbs it means they are cold blooded animals like amphibians they also not maintain their body temperature and in reptiles also estivation and hibernation observed they are oviparous it means they lay eggs on land their eggs are covered by leathery shells what do you mean by oviparous egg laying animals that is a definition in a short form way the embryo develop on the large quantity of yolk and albumin is present in the egg of reptile vertebrates are divided in three groups due to presence of amnion in the egg amnion is the protective membrane on the egg now let's move and start class f it's known as birds also about 9000 species of birds found general characteristics of birds birds are most beautiful and melodious animal in the world why they are beautiful because they have a lot of colors found in a birds and they are melodious because they have a voice box that is known as pharynx therefore these are melodious study of birds is known as ornithology what ornithology is a comprise of two greek words ornitho means birds logos means study 
they are among the most successful vertebrae the variation size is also remarkable in a birds range from 2 grams west indian hummingbird to 150 kg of ostrich bird feathers which cover the body all over constitute a unique and a basic identifying character of birds act as an endotherm in the flying purple feathers endotherm means those are hot blooded warm blooded animals they are warm blooded animals they maintain their body temperature due to the feathers and wings birds have a wings what is wings they are modified form of arms or four limbs for the flying purpose they are wings used they live in a different habitat they are aerial it means they are flyable some of them not they are spinal shaped body reduce the number of bones their bones are hollow and low weighted large eyeball and a powerful four chamber heart they have a sound producing sac that is known as pharynx instead of larynx they have a toothless why they are toothless how they are eat it and chew and masticate the food through the beak or bill they have a beak or bill they are toothless fertilization is internal and eggs are large amniotic covered by hard calciferous shells nesting molting is also observed or what in eggs now let's discuss about class mammalia or mammalian with a mammal glands there are about 4500 species of mammals found a study of mammals is known as mammalogy most complex and most successful group of vertebrates living today their sizes are very various two important characteristics of mammals they are found only in the mammals they have hairs and mammary glands third is also unique uh, in this mammals uh, character that is heterodont or thicodont it means the mammals have different shape of teeth are present and their teeth are fixed or locked with a socket of jaws therefore these are known as thicodont the different shapes of teeth have a different functions like incisor for biting canine for cutting premolar for grinding and molars for grinding more grinding and mastication mammals have a diaphragm which divided body cavity into thoracic and abdominal cavity diaphragm is a portion of the body which separates thoracic cavity to abdominal cavity mammals have a unique among animals because they are sucking they are young ones with a nutritive fluid milk secreted by mammary glands all mammals are viviparous most of the mammals why what most of were used in this mammals because some mammals are oviparous are egg laying that is known as monotremes or prototheria mammals on the basis of made of developmental condition of their newborn babies divided into three subclasses in this figure different mammals showing let's start the first subclass of mammalia is prototheria uh, monotremes also is known as they are egg laying mammals they lay egg that has similar membrane and structure to reptile eggs they are most primitive mammals probably evolved from reptiles therefore they are connected link between mammals and reptiles their example is duck bill pultipus spiny anteater some example showing this figure pultipuses and spiny anteaters now discuss about second subclass metatheria or pouched mammals are marsupials also known as about 250 species of metatheriums found they are viviparous it means they are give young ones birth and immature young ones outside the mother body often in a pouch pouch that pouch is known as marsupium therefore they are commonly known as marsupial mammals are pouched mammals the example is kangaroo koala bear some examples showing this figure also this one is a kangaroo this is one is a pouch here is a small young one immature young one is present are showing 
that pouch is known as marsupium therefore these are known as marsupial mammals are pouched mammals now in the last subclass eutheria is defined they are known as eutheria means true mammals you means true theria means mammal they are known as placental mammals about 4000 species of mammals are belongs to this subclass eutheria eutherian are placental mammals which represent about 95 percentage of mammals they possess placenta what is placenta it is a connection between mother and a developing embryo that is known as placenta they are viviparous they are omniparous it omni present mammals are found these eutherians their example is man monkey bat etc they are aerial they are live in water they live on the land which mammal placental mammal is aerial it is a bat which mammal placental mammal is acutic like a whale which mammal live on the land like man monkey elephant so on etc i hope you understand today's lecture about tetrapods cardates here the kingdom animalia chapter is completed i hope you understand very well dear students thanks to all watching this video please share your feedback or comments thanks allah hafiz